went shopping with one of my friends and I noticed a lot of things um, resembling or referencing the 90s. And I am a 90s baby. I was born 1990. And when we were shopping, I noticed like um, sunglasses that I used to wear, like the colored glasses, um, like the Charlie's Angels that had like the little rhinestone star or heart in the bottom. I noticed a patchwork denim uh bucket hat and I was like man I had all this stuff in high school and so I had bought some makeup because I wanted to do a Halloween look and I started thinking about the 90s and school and boy when I was in school we were into Lisa Frank and I mean early elementary too like fourth and fifth grade like I remember having the binders like I loved the dolphin I loved the horses just anything Lisa Frank, the pencils, the pencil pouches, the the calendar notebooks, you know, because I had a lot of important dates to remember back then. Um, so I was like, I want to do Lisa Frank makeup, just something fun. So I jumped on YouTube because I thought I need some inspiration and I need something that isn't too outlandish or crazy. And so I found this video, Lisa Frank Halloween Cut Crease by Lip Sense by Cinegence Makeup. Now, normally when I follow a tutorial, I kind of like put it down in the bottom, but I'm not going to today just because it's only three minutes and she goes really fast through it. But what I will do is link this video for you in the bottom so you can go check it out yourself if you would like to go watch her and see how she recreates this. So we're just, it's really cute, really simple, but I think it'll be fun to recreate. My cheeks are super red at the moment because the day is over. <laughs> I did all the things and it's like 8:45 at night. Will my kids sleep through this so I can get this done? Hopeful, doubtful. Although they didn't have a nap today. So they may just surprise us. Okay, so she's starting with her base. I'm going to do just a little something to cover up. Oh my gosh, that is a butterfly. Do I have rosacea? It's like the butterfly looking thing. Anyways, let's just take a little something and try to even out. I'm just going to pop on a little bit of my ColourPop concealer here. Oh, I forgot I got new sponges today. My favorite sponges. Literally, I rebuy these constantly. So, should I have washed this first? Yes. Am I going to? No. Just going to spray a little bit of spray. Like I said, it's like 8.45 at night, so as soon as I'm done here, I'm just going to go get a shower. I thought, you know, the hubby is not home tonight. Let's go ahead and film this so I don't have to, like, commit to this all day. <laughs> Plus, tomorrow I have other videos that I want to film. Plus, I think she puts a lot of blush, like a lot of blush, so I'm not super stressed about having, what's the word, my base perfect. Okay, so she, like, primed all this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pop on again some of this concealer. Okay, she just popped on an orange shadow. So I'm going to pull out my Fade Into You palette by ColourPop. And I'm going to go in with the shade Art Deco. Scary, spooky skeletons and shit. We had so much fun today shopping. We went to this little boutique that I've never been in. Super cute. And then we went to, where else did we go? Ulta, Five Below, TJ Maxx. We were going to go to like Maurice's and Kohl's, but we ran out of time. But still, we had a lot of fun. It was some good girl time. So I'm honestly, I'm just popping on this orange. She just took it all over here and then even down into here. And I'm just kind of taking it out into that point. This is... Now she's taking pink above that. I am going to go into the shade Atelier, A-T-E-L-I-E-R. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. So taking pink above the orange. Nope, I don't want that brush either. All right, I'm just gonna go in with the same brush because I want it to fluff out a little more. So just using, this is a really good brush too. This is Essence, the Eye Blender brush. Not bad at all. I like this because like you want it to be bold so you don't have to be so precise okay so now she's taking a pink blush and doing it here and up and over so I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, peachy love trio and go in with this shade 
And she really... I'm gonna back that up, actually, just a little bit. Like I said, this video, she go, she just, boom, boom. She's not talking, she just goes through it one after the other really fast. Okay, contour, and then blend up onto her temple. Okay, then she took some pink on the lower lash line. So going back in with that shade Adelier. Going to, does she bring it all the way around? Kind of looks like it. So we'll just, we're going to make it look like we meant to do it. And take a little bit of that down here. Okay, man, I like this. Just like, bam, bam, bam. Okay, now she's doing a cut crease. So again, color pop for the win. She's like using, I don't know what these are, shadow, like lip scents, but like shadow scents, blush scents. It must be all products with that line, and I don't, I don't have none of that stuff. Why am I like stuck on that here lately? Skeletons and shivers on your phone. All right, where's my brush? I knew you were in there. All right, this is already drying. <laughs> My cut crease is not perfect, but it'll do the job. Okay, packing yellow on the lid. We can do that. So I'm going to go in with the shade. I want really bright, so I'm going to go in with the shade Abstract. Okay, yellow is on. Okay, she's painting a purple nose. Like a little heart on her nose. Do I? <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature Eyeliner in Violet Wool. Heart on the nose, down to the lip, in purple. Okay, I need to close this because I'll make a mess with that. Okay, whoa, whoa. Okay, yellow shimmer on the eye. So let's take a little bit of NYX glitter glue. I really should get a new one. This the cap completely broke off and it is drying out. And we'll just take a little bit of this lucky charm. Okay, there we go. Then she did something and I missed it. Let me go back. Oh, she did it on the under eye too. So for the under eye, I'm going to go in with Big Smile. It's not the large particles of glitter. I don't want that on my under eye. Okay, now she contoured her nose with pink. So let's take some of this and this blush. Contour my nose. does look cute. Oops, I missed. See, it's so fast. She's so fast. Okay, then she took orange blush here. So I'm going to go back in with this palette. And I'm going to go in with the orange shade. And really do this up orange. <laughs> Okay, now she's doing her brow in purple. Let's take this brush and I'm going to put a little bit of clear brow gel in my brows to give it something kind of like to stick to. This is the e.l.f. clear stuff. Okay, and now I'm going to take the shade Majestic and fill in my brows. Oh, that might have been a little too wet. It's like not really wanting to stick to it. 
try again. I know I'm going for Lisa Frank, but I'm also getting like <laughs> Capital Hunger Game vibes here. This is adorable. I think I'm going to put a little bit of shadow on this eyeliner because it's kind of like breaking apart. I'm going to take a little bit of zygus, give it a little something, a little something to stick to it. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. Okay, she just put purple lipstick on her top lip. Do I own purple? Hold on. I don't have purple. So I'm going to go ahead and use that liner for my lip. Why not, right? When in Rome, use eyeliner on your lip. It's not really. Hmm. Maybe I take a little bit of eyeshadow. I just. I put makeup everywhere. If I think it's going to work, I'll give her a shot. There. I have little lips anyway, so. Okay, she outlined her nose. So I have the NYX Super Skinny eye marker so let's line the oh that oh, geez how in the world oh my goodness oh <laughs> matches okay Okay, pink on the bottom lip. So I'm gonna use my NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in Sweet Tooth. Okay, she gave herself a wing. To give myself a wing, I'm gonna use this uh, Ulta Beauty WandaVision. It's like a stamp and a liner because your girl cannot do a wing liner to save her life. Okay, right eye. Yes, I had to remember which is my right eye. I still don't know how to do this, if we're being honest. Oh, I think that was too low, but we're going to go with it. Okay. Love this thing. I know it's like really gimmicky, but this actually works out <laughs> really nice for someone like me who cannot do a wing. Look how cute. Am I going to do this Saturday for trick or treat? I think I might. It, it brings me joy. And that's what we're doing these days. Finding things that bring us joy. Not even. Not a problem. We're going to move on. This is so cute. Okay. Mascara. Yo. Mascara. Where you at? Oh, 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 oh. I'm not a, I'm not a stallion. You know what, your girl? <laughs> this is hilarious. I love it. Okay. Three little freckle dots down here. Okay, if I did it again, I wouldn't use this formula. It's a little too watery for this. Like it's wanting to go everywhere. Okay. Okay, she uses her lips and shadows to make dots of color all over her face. We're going to use this palette. This is the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Paint Palette in Rainbow. I don't really know how to apply it, though. I've never used this before. Do I use my finger? Maybe. Do the other side trying to make sure I get the same color finger in the paint. There we go. Well, that worked out well. Okay. 
Now this is the part I'm scared of. I don't know how well I can do these little cheetah things. Like this is where I need my sister. Oh, she did this side. Okay, see, I didn't pay attention. She did this side down here. So, okay, next time I would flip flop and do these down here. Okay, this is, that's not gonna work. Do I have a black eyeliner? Let's try this one. The Maybelline Hyper Easy. See if we have any more luck. Yeah, that one's better. Here is the finished look. I think this is adorable. <laughs> like this was really fun to just sit down and film this like without having to worry about it being like perfect. I mean, can you get perfect with this kind of a thing? But like look how cute. It's just so much fun. And I like that it was just like like, I like the quickness of it. And I really like this palette. I actually just ordered the other two um, because I also want to do, like, a Vikings look. Like, I might end up playing around with these a little bit more and doing more, like, I don't know what you call this. Like, whatever that's called. Uh, makeup. Just, just something fun. Like, I really like this. I think I might <laughs> recreate this for Trick or Treat Sunday and go as a Lisa Frank in the flesh. I don't know. This was really fun. So let me know down below. What do you think? Like, did you have fun with this? This was really easy to do too. Like it wasn't so over the top graphic makeup that like I was stressed. Like this was honestly just fun. So again, I will link uh, Lip Sense by Cinegen's makeup. <laughs> I will link her video down below for you to go check it out and take a look at this yourself. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.